Hey guys, it's a tin man. What do you think an otter is doing way up here? It's showing no signs of really any trauma. I checked him out well. Beautiful coat on this guy. You can see I shifted him around, flipped him over on his belly. I almost feel like I see in one kind of an injury there. I don't see any real significant injury. Looks like it's probably a male. Come over closer to the edge of the road. Wow, that's a beautiful coat when you touch it. Anyways, let's take a look around here. And I'll show you, like there is a creek a ways down. You can see the lower creek over there. I did stop, I have stopped here one time. Put a little bit of a jaunt down there. And like I tell you guys, there's no place around here that isn't with these guys. Like isn't with them. Everywhere is with them. So however you get that, uh, whatever you think you can get out of that. So where that otter came from, I suspect down at the creek or somewhere. And yeah, maybe somebody clipped him over the head, knocked him out. Back here. Yeah. We shot over there. Let's go take a look at that uh, otter again. How's that sound? I just want to take a look at his nose. On a couple of uh, other animal roadside animals, I've checked out, and they had very little damage. So maybe they did just get clipped on the nose. Those couple, they had blood only on just at the speck of their nose. So I kind of sus was suspicious. So the flies really haven't gone to this guy, eh? Size of that head, though, eh? There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wonder what they do with that coat. They probably just let them rot or something. But I mean, I'd rather just leave it here then than let, uh, let just some kind of, uh, Gar you know, an animal supposedly clean up company just throw them in another garbage can. Why not leave them feeding the earth? Cheers.